Let Who's me ask that? you in in your, in a fantasy world yeah. where you have all these qualities that you've stated. Mm. Uh, I'm selling. Are I, you serious? To girls. <laughs> girls. Then it's our only fans. No way. Yes, I'd have an only fans that's account. It, that's crazy. Yeah. That's actually crazy. Yenza kwa muzaji mbora. Konene, episode 288 to kisema like subscribe hit the notification button tell a friend to tell a friend na vile una check jo ian kuna vile haiko around alikuwa ameishia a uh, funeral of a friend of ours alafu kukaanza kunyesha apparently alafu aka kuwa stuck huko cuz kutoka usiku ilikuwa dangerous so tutakuwa na yeye in the next episode kama Dr Dre and I think it was corrupt ama the next episode you know that song no no okay <laughs> alafu vile na take his son yamwa jo leo what to have uh, the most baby icon in ever jo oh god here we go <laughs> <laughs> so tuko na Mariah wa mic check podcast let's go baby and that's how it starts like um just your name alone shows ilo babi yako kwa sisi ni watu wa Wyclef Jean sasa alafu <laughs> wenye mtu wa Nick Cannon <laughs> you know the difference eh? <laughs> not really you don't know nani uh, Wyclef Jean has that song Maria Maria but ni, ni Canon has a Mariah song no but ni Canon calls Mar- has Mariah Carey and uh, Wyclef has Maria correction a girl we don't know Wyclef Jean is not on Maria 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 is who Carlos Santana and product DGB oh shit Wyclef has another song Okay, Just okay. Ad-libs, but it's, it's not his track. Oh, it's not his track. Yeah. Oh shit. Yaani ushaanza ku correct mapema hiyo. Yeah, so bila tunasema tuko na Mariah wa Mike Check. Mike Check of course like a very dope podcast. Thank you. Ni upata ka guest wengine wale mu wish tu. Ni kutu kujeni kwa nini wako. Talk to us nicely, we got you. Yeah, so there's all of that. Like kuna mota amenizungusha hii Nairobi. Nilimwona kwa podcast yenu kasema wacha huyu akwende. That's just disk. Cuz I'm petty like that. Akwende. Yeah, akwende sasa. That niongelesha ni matent I got you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so um uh, so nataka tutabonga juu ya podcasting mm-hmm. lakini before that kuna a few things that have been making headlines. Then nataka your opinion on. Okay. And on the day of the shoot, I think the day before, mm-hmm. kulikuwa na the news that uh, Molly Murecho was one of your guests. Um, I moved to Radio Africa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so una check your move? Um I mean, I I wouldn't say I'm surprised mm. because she mentioned it also on the podcast. She was like, you know, considering she had worked there for a decade okay. and when okay. she made the switch to energy, mm. John what's his name? No, Mike. Pardon yeah. me. Mike was very clear that you know she can always come back. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Mm. So even when I saw that I was like, okay, Mm. It's I mean it's surprising but it's not really surprising. Yeah. 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 So wanna assume that she's going back to homeboys. Honestly no. Yeah. I think there might be a switch up yeah. somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean G G is holding it down mm. on the breakfast show. Mm. If you think about the dons who are doing it on breakfast and drive. Mm. Mm. CGW. Honestly, my card is on Kiss 100, yeah, but yeah. L- l- let's wait and see. Yeah, hakuna kungoza. So janga sisi tunakoga na zile za in the grave vibe. Kakisonga kakisonga. So I'll be honest, nil try kupigia nani? Aka lengeo story. Unaenda wapi? Aka kata kuniambia. Oh god. Uh Rachel, uh, I think she knew that this is a podcast that is just going to yeah, talk about. It's going to be a grand it. reveal. We have to wait on it. Yes. So uh, I decided to hit up someone else Stasema Nani specifically and mm-hmm. they told me that she could be going to the breakfast show ya On? Kiss FM. No. Yes, that cuz uh, reason ni kapao uh, quit. She's the one who quit. She was not fired. Okay. Uh, but kwa box was like fuck it. I'm out of here. <coughs> mm. And this is less than a year I think. Actually yeah, it could be she joined in nine, May. It could be around 9 10 months of her yeah. being there. Yeah. Damn. Mm. That's rather surprising because I felt like she was doing a really good job yeah, on the breakfast doing, show. Mm, mm. But then now that leaves me wondering what happens to Chito because if also exclusive just announced that he's joining. I mean they've already announced that he's joining Radio Africa so that yeah. means they're definitely going to be co-hosts. Mm. So what happens to Chito? Mm. Okay, hapo sijui. Hapo tu niko na ngoja zile adlib za hii anasema Chito becomes Chichi. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like uh but it's going to be a rough one. And that's you know life ya radio. I think life ya radio na kuaga this very unpredictable. True. I've told people like one of the reasons why I never want to go back to radio. Because the funny thing is I think ile job uh Quambox got first. I was the one who was supposed to get it. Ama what Bref- one? Breakfast show ya. She used to be on Breakfast Vibes. vibes. Yeah. Yes. I was supposed to be on Vibes. Crazy. They called me, took me through the whole tour, different rooms. Uh, they knew I was a raster man. I understand <laughs> reggae. Then eventually they called me. Eventually they told me to fuck off. And I felt disrespected. Like, don't call me. Like, if True. I'm just somewhere chilling. Yeah, don't waste my time like that. Eh, come on, you've not made up your mind. True. So, but of course she did a really good job. Now, for kind of said, in less than a year, you've already left. Like, what's so, so bad, Apple? that she felt like yeah, fuck it that like mm, cuz i'm sure i'm sure she was getting some good money of know? course of mm. course that's that's prime time she was definitely in her bag yeah but hey we'll never know mm. we'll yeah, never cause know. like in the one thing mujwagani like creative, creative free- control zero that, that's a fact uh, that uh, is a fact yeah and but it becomes hard in the new age cuz yeah, the new age you, you have to inter- you have to integrate so many things cuz right now you can't say you're solely focused on just being a presenter yeah, you yeah. have to be cuz for somebody like Wambox she mm. has, she wears so many hats she's an MC mm. of course she's trying to tap into podcasting i mean she's on box yeah, yeah, yeah. there is so much she's doing so boxing and also you know you have to integrate your social media to go so ha- your show has to kind of have the feel that you mm, have mm. outside of mm. those four walls and she's really good like Miss Izu can uliza and no disrespect to anyone else who works at Kiss but can uliza they only show me na joya Kiss FM because I don't listen to radio like I used to is your breakfast. breakfast show na ni juya yake it's like no True. disrespect to Chito Pia but it's because of she's her like the, her personality is so makes I I I kind of get where you're coming from mm. but then again you know if something doesn't fit and that's what one thing I stand by mm. if it gets to a point where it feels like something is not authentic yeah. or it doesn't really you know fuse with what Mm. you really want to be or mm. what you stand for what you represent yeah maze acha na tunayo acha na nayo okay okay that's like any easier said than done was it well, true when ngine gas is it no go but when poverty pa- starts poverty poverty <laughs> yeah when poverty starts touching my thigh i'm like no nah, bro <laughs> <laughs> so you don't need but uh, we show you a credit eh? yes yeah how's the experience um Interest I'd say it was interesting considering most of the shows I was doing were very out of my comfort zone. Yeah. yeah. So the f- my first stint was at Homeboys and I was like a commentator on Jump Off. Oh, okay. So that you know hip hop culture, mm. all that good stuff. It was nice, mm. but it mm. was different at the same time cuz um it's not what I was used to. Yeah, yeah. Then oh, where's Sifano Hip Hop? I am, mm. but when I when it gets too deep into the trap, oh, the drill, I'm I'm okay, like, okay, you okay, know, okay. this this is too much for me. Mm, so mm. it was different because now I had to listen to like artists I wasn't listening to, like Twenty yeah, One yeah. Savage. Ooh, mm, but mm, mm. yeah, that was that. By the time I was an intern, so that mm. was that. Yeah. So fast forward to last year, mm. I was at Chase. Mm. FM and I was doing bar talk with Jimmy Olimsen. Oh, Cliff. Jimo. Yeah. So that one that was completely mm. different yeah. from what I have ever done. Mm. You can imagine these are like two street boys like yeah. you know they represent the culture to the maximum. Mm. Then mm. there's me. Yeah. Yeah, period. Hey, and it's like okay, how am I supposed to fuse with these two? Mm. So it got to a point where like they they'd take me to like Maraundi, they'd take me, you know, like bears, mm. like get used to this place is like even you know your vibe kind of acclimates to what the yeah, vibe yeah, is about yeah. on the show but yeah it just eh he left too much like you know you mm. can only force so much kwani mm. ulijipata je uko like uh yeah cuz but what you yeah <laughs> so funny story mm. um the week before that before the week i s- started started yeah. i had gone to trace for an interview it was world podcast day yeah oh. so we got interviewed and as we're having the interview um mm. calvin mentioned he was like oh you know you've been in media for so long blah blah so i was like you know i'm actually trying to get back to mainstream yeah and i don't know how i don't know who heard yeah later cliff dms me mm. he's like oh i saw you guys were trace today or right? you know we're actually trying to get a female to you know fill Co-host. in yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. so i was like bet he's like um um jamu's gonna holler at you we'll mm. see how to work things out so boom yeah. Yeah. that was like a friday evening mm. so sunday 
Jemo calls me. He's like, yeah, me and Cleve spoke, blah, blah. Let's do, though I had met Jemo previously at Homeboys. Yeah. So it was kind of an easy conversation. So mm-hmm. he was like, yeah, yeah, you pull up Monday. Let's see how you run thing. Mm. And we make it work. So yeah, and after that, Ilienda took me in Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Now your experience look good. Did you have fun at least? Honestly, it was fun cuz mm. you know, first of all, they went live funny individuals. Yeah, you will, yeah, you will never yeah. have a down moment mm. and mm. it's very safe to say like those are literally my brothers to this day. Okay. So, yeah, it was different and fun at the same time cuz mm. it was uh, Sheng, like yeah, I would never a Sheng, yes, but but mm. it's not to that extent. Yeah, uh, yeah so either. you know, mm. like being opened and experiencing different a different side mm. of what you're used to, very mm. interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, now while they are podcasting, what did you put out? Because this one I'm asking is, there's a time I was talking to Chucksy uh-huh. and I was telling him like I used to watch him before I knew what podcasts were. Mm-hmm. Like, when I do, this podcast thing started, like, even there's a time in uh, Ian, mm-hmm. uh, w- like, we did a podcast, but we didn't know it's a podcast because we just sat as two dudes and we recorded a video just talking about different things. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think truly post, I love to come out of, like, 30 views. <laughs> Congratulations. I love <laughs> it. We never continued. Don't just love jingaza. Yeah, like, oh, it's, it's, it's a whatever. Podcast. So, yeah. years later, I'm watching Nani, I think around 2019 or 2020. Now, it's Jackson. I should do. Who say? Like, why? For the internet. Why? Because, you know, you're so used to mainstream True. media mm. that you don't know there's anything beyond mainstream. So, me, Nasemaga, like, without Zach, I'd never have entered this world of podcasting. Crazy. Yeah. So, um, so, I guess I have to give the backstory mm. of this one before I get... Yeah. To, yeah so this is 2017 mm. and this is the time energy had just come on the scene and they were looking for presenters yeah so you may it was the whole you know send your application like make a video post it mm. so i did my video it actually did go viral Mm. To some extent, mm. and so later we're called. We go in for an interview, and that's when I actually met Chaxi. Yeah, because both of us made top 100. Mm. So he comes to me. He's like, "Oh, I think you're so cool. I'd love for us to do something together." So there's this thing me and my friend do. He mm-hmm. didn't even have a name for it. Yeah, he said, "So there's this thing me and my friend do." Um, at Alchemist, we normally like get space and we record. He's like, "It would be nice for you to just come and do one episode, get a feel, see if you like it, call it a day." I'm like, "Cool." Yeah. So the energy competition went how it went. Mm. And after, so I went, we linked to Chaxi. So that at the time he had the, actually it was called Just Kidding Podcast. Oh, Crazy okay. thing. Okay. Yeah. So it was him and Arush. Arush the singer. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So I get there, we do an episode. It went so good. Mm. So Chaxi was like, you know what? I actually have another crazy idea. Me mm. and you should actually do something together. Oh, okay. So mm. I say, I'm like, okay, let's do it. Mm. So 2018, January. Mm. So at the time 2018. 18. 18. Damn. 18. You my yeah. <laughs> yeah. 18. Yeah. So um I think at the at the time KRG had the studio in Kilimani. Yeah. Yeah. So we go with Chaxi. Kerji's like, yeah, you guys do your thing. Mm. So we recorded about two episodes and we posted them. By the time it was like, okay, we don't we don't really know what Mm. and how to move about it so it was like you know what let's sit let's think of something that can actually work Mm. Mm. so we decide you know what we're actually gonna have a show called the catalyst 15 minutes Mm. and we just review kenyan culture Mm. music Mm. movies everything but 15 minutes jam-packed boom Mm. so we did it for like um the whole year 2018 Mm. 2019 Mm. then so 2019 at the time I had just joined K24. I had, we were doing a show called Arena 254. Okay. Yeah. So I do work on Saturdays. Chaxi would come pick me. We go record Evo mm. Evo. Mm. Then it got to a point where now it was like, okay, I needed to graduate. Mm. So we kind of took a break ish. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, my graduation was done. Boom. Mm. So I said, okay, now we can do it full on, full on. Yeah. So 2020. Mm. Literally, I get a job at Kiss TV mm. and oh, okay. COVID happens. Mm. So it's like, okay, everything is shut down. And it's like, okay, Chaxi, we had this thing that was going. So mm. now what do we do? Because everywhere is closed. Yeah. So we tried to do Zoom. Mm. It just wasn't working. Yeah. Um. So it was like, you know what? Let's just give it a breather. 
Um, so 2020 goes, mm. 21 comes in. So we're like, okay, it's a new year. Should we still do the same thing? Should yeah. we do something different? So he was mm. like, you know what? Let's try and bring in somebody else, see how it works. So we yeah. reached out to Kimanzi, the mm. content creator. Yeah. So, you know, he's a superstar. Yeah, yeah, Busy yeah. Sheet. Man stays booked 25-8. Mm. So it was like, ah, okay, this is clearly not working. Yeah. So we had to take a break again. Yeah, okay. So it's like, okay, so 2022 is here. And we're like, you know what, guys, we've slacked for so long. Mm. We have to get back on it. So Chuck was like, oh, actually, during COVID, I've been hanging out with some guy called Moas mm. on Twitter. I think he's so funny. Mm. I think mm. you guys will actually get along. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. So it's like, okay, pull up to the studio. Yeah. Let's, because now we were even moving locations and whatever. So we get to the studio now where we record nowadays, oh, okay. Snowball. Yeah. So I get there, Chuck is there, Moas comes through. Mm. And hi hi, we sit, we do a pilot, and yeah. literally that was the first episode of Mike Check. Oh, okay. And that was the okay. first time I actually met Moa. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Now Nini, uh, what happened to Just Kidding? Just Kidding, Eros became a superstar. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Plus he, re as he says, he just wasn't. He, okay. he really didn't understand what mm. was happening in that moment. Yeah. So yeah. for him to break away from it was, I mean, Easy. quite yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So I don't know if I understand Kiku, but this is the point me and Ian would have seen. Erosheli una kuendelea, kuambia taendelea nema heni. Yeah, ni uongo. Yeah, simbio. Yeah. <laughs> ni, ni kwa, ni, I lean towards that side kidogo, so I yeah. understand. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. So, <laughs> ah, that's good, but hey, vitu, vitu ones are interesting, son. So, I you met right. on that first day? Yeah, and that was the first episode of Mic Check. Yeah, na mkanza yeah. tu hivo. And, and here then, we are. Oh, One, okay, how okay. many episodes are we in? 148. One? Yes, yes. Yes. Which is, which is really good. So, uh, mekua, me, muleza, which month? In 2022? Uh, March. March. Okay, yes. so you're turning... Two. We just had our birthday yeah. like three weeks ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> it's not turn three. You're turning you three. When? Yeah, we're turning three in May. That's May 26th. Nice. Happy birthday in advance. Yeah, to May 26th. To not turn three. I think ours is 9th of March. Yeah. Yes. Oh, the day Biggie died. Eh? Yeah. Switch was a evil. Napier, funny enough, uh, Ian's birthday, but big first. Than the, Ian. The great, greatness, greatness is born at <laughs> the ninth. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, that's that's great. That's I great. Know. Um. So of course, kwa podcast you bonga kajua things that are happening. Mm. So let's me ask you, uh, Pia kitu ingine. Unenda safari rally? Are you going to be involved in any way? Honestly, I've never been a fan. Mm. I've never even bothered to know what okay. happens in that scene. Mm, so, mm. yeah, I, I won't even front like, um, yeah. but I know of the drama yeah. that's been happening. Yeah. But other than that, Oh, we seem to share that. No. Hey, Ra, mm. dust, Jumato. Mm. Nope. So, you're the reason why you're because yeah. me, me, you watch a movie, Ferrari. No. Uh, so, there's this new movie called Ferrari. Mm -hmm. And if you watch it and you still go and watch cars racing, mm -hmm. You're the strongest human I know. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? So there's this ac accident scene mm -hmm. where people are just quiet by the roadside. Okay. Alafu, Gary Mili zinakuja, zinakuja. Then, uh, I know, Gary Moja, mm. it just hits something like, so kidogo hivi. Taina pasuka, then it just starts rolling. Before you know it, it plows through a crowd. What? Wa kiwa half. If you know the way Hollywood nowadays is this. It's so dramatic. Like the effects are so dramatic. Yes. <laughs> you see like half a body. Then you see. So after I watched that, I was already like very afraid of going to, uh, to such things. After kuchekio ni kamosta yenda. Then just my juicy too in mm -hmm. Hungary. This mm -hmm. uh, was on March 25th. A few days ago. Yeah. yeah. So in Hungary, <laughs> the news was mm -hmm. four killed, several injured as race car hits spectators at, at Hungary rally. That means Mimi na safari rally. So. Zero. <laughs> no, yeah, but have you yeah. ever wanted to attend? As a kid. Like back in the days, sit kwa toi, time yet, yes, this was a thing. Why? Um, Because there was no internet. <laughs> right, you nothing. are stone age. Yes, I'm in stone age. Me and us, Danganyagi, what? Sisi no when we were kids, we used to be told of people like Joginda Singh. Do you even know who Joginda who Singh is? It's some Indian uh, race truck driver, driver, whatever, safari rally dude. Okay. So to quote Nambuwa Vile, he drives so fast that there's this one where his steering wheel went off and he just took a piece of a tree and just drove it. Nah, as kids, really? you're like, yeah. 
<laughs> that is so there cool. was no internet <laughs> no, no, like we were born we were kids true so there used to be those uh, stories then there used to be uh, this kenyan guy ian duncan mm-hmm. patrick njiru the one patrick njiru so you know him at least honestly no like you've never had the name when i tell you i am so out of touch with yeah. the safari rally world I'm really out of touch. Oh, there was Patrick Njiru and mm. I think even he was the guy who made Subaru popular. Nice. Yeah, yeah, if I'm not wrong. So there was that. So yeah, so me more Wendy nini. Na hizo hizo story like when everyone decides to go to Vasha, you you know the type oh, First go? of all, even my friends can tell you I I am not a road trip kind of person. Oh, okay. One cuz I get car sick. Mm. So being in the car I feel like I want to throw up mm, mm. I'm uncomfortable yeah. so anything that requires me to really be in a car for so long mm, ish, yeah. count me out yeah yeah plus adrenaline I'm not the biggest fan oh. like even F1 you won't find me watching it though at mm. least I I hear some names okay Lewis Hamilton because he's yeah, cute see what it but mm. yeah yeah anything adrenaline not really oh okay yeah. okay cuz to- talking of car trips uh, of course I hate them I always say that Kenyan roads are super dangerous. True. Uh, so no, any road, but yeah, Ke- Kenya is on a, another yeah. level. Yeah, so majuzi to mepatiana like this uh, solution mm-hmm. and one icon any fan was angry at me. Damn. <laughs> what you say? This guy was like, "Wow, sometimes do you even think before you say something." So I was saying this, eh? Like that road accidents have become too many True. that we have to come up with punitive measures that make you just scared to do some bullshit so i'm saying it needs to reach a level where if a car uh, uh, like i'm a three from a certain circle con- like is involved in an accident the whole circle has to pay and they are paying damages you the see the whole circle that sounds a bit unfair pay. Yes, that's the only way. Like if there's collective responsibility uh unajua you are rico rico charges yes Racketeering, yes. blah blah blah. Wh- why did they come up to make sure that one people don't fuck up? Sindio? True. So mnajua gaumo moja hicho akishikwa si wote tumeshikwa. So this is what's going to happen. Like uh the circles would have a choice. They can take insurance mm-hmm. like we like against any accidents. Mm-hmm. Uh they take maybe up to this amount of money. Mhm and pay insurance of course the insurance company will be like are you planning to overspeed because if you're planning to overspeed you're not <laughs> tell us that not, yeah to exactly. to we're not liable person. true so i feel like the punitive measures if they were that crazy all this bullshit of people over speeding and switching lanes would would reduce but you see blaming that on a circle doesn't make any sense because even if i've stated rules yeah. of this is how the circle is supposed to operate yeah and the driver decides to go against those rules it's the mm. driver who has to be liable not the circle and that's why he time noted drivers who are liable has anything changed you see you're trying to bring change and sometimes bringing change is painful Me- means taking drastic measures it means taking drastic measures because too many people die on kenyan roads i know it's unfair to the other people in the circle but in a fact reach a level where even a circles mnajua na nime toka saa tisa hafai kufika before saa moja and everyone knows like if you come before someone you go like budol go over speed you can't do this then muna punish within yourself muna punish before you know it everyone is yeah before you know it everyone is of course lazima kuna investigations if there is a rogue driver who dis, who goes on a suicide mission the circle can't be you see like so the example i was giving was the example of boeing well every time boeing crashes what happens boeing pays because that's an airline that's yeah, what you have airline. to do and yeah hapa kenya when do your airline sasa when do your guard guard in your airline circle <laughs> your airline Th- those rules can't apply when it comes to a circle mm-hmm. that doesn't mean no no, no it yeah, can't it's punitive that's why na anambia guard to like mimi uh, i should stay away from political like, office uh, clearly yes clearly. <laughs> like uh, the people who'd love me would love me cuz i'd bring accident so low yeah cuz say how are you going to overspeed you know but i'm from dosia na kupigana kwambia no but you see even before the cars mm. let's also just talk about the roads mm. the roads themselves yeah. have major issues you sleep today your road was okay tomorrow you wake up it has a bump yeah, a pothole yeah. no no um what do you call them i was supposed to say traffic lights jesus yeah, yeah. no signage yeah, that yeah. there's bumps that have been put like mm. we we can't mm. 
blaming Asako before we actually blame the actual people who are supposed to be responsible mm-hmm. doesn't mm-hmm. make any sense to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And I gi- I think I gave the name of the circle because what I was trying to say was there's this bus companies. You mm-hmm. see like this bus company has been involved in this accident, then mm-hmm. this accident, then this accident. Especially is kubwa kubwa. Yes. Is like, yeah. And nothing happens. Now according to me, Kilen Mekam could discover in life, if there are no consequences, nothing changes. True. It's like the way corruption in Kenya. There's no consequences. True. So what's going to change? The minute Kumianza kuana consequences, people start thinking twice. True. You see, like the way a thief in Nairobi at a snatch simuakijua, this is life and death. Yeah. A thief in uh, Japan, most probably you know this is not life and death. Yeah, you know, it's uh, whatever. Yeah. So you know what I'm like there has to be consequences and i feel like the consequences have True. to be so extreme that people are like uh, no but extreme do extremism doesn't really fix everything mm. no okay. okay i think so you, solution you, you di- for me if i if i was the one who was handling this mm. you deal with the driver the driver you call in. You deal with the driver and that's what i'm saying extremism to the person to the perpetrator not mm. a whole circle. most drivers die these are accidents. That's the first thing that happens. They die. And they die along with 13 other people at True. least. Innocent people on top mm. of that. So yeah. No, I no. mean you, you, you do have a point. But extremism, that's not really my form of punishment. Yeah, so, so I understand, I understand why people would be against my whatever, but sometimes yeah. sometimes I lose my shit. Uh <laughs> I love now. Kuna story moja ile happened jana ile I don't know it just reminded me of things my mother used to say. Mm-hmm. So my mom always used to insist on two things. Kwa kwa public transport don't put your your hand outside out, or never fix stick your, your head. head outside the window true. Ulis case story The guy whose head was smashed? Yeah. Ra I saw first of all I saw the picture. Mimi mm-hmm. sikuangalia. I wasn't looking yeah. for this picture. You know, mm, you, mm. you just know how the internet is. You're scrolling and you know you're met with something out of this world. Mm. That's exactly what happened. So first of all, before I even knew what was happening, so I saw it was blood mm. and I could see blood on the floor. So I was, I was like, what? So I mm. read the caption. I'm like, okay. So I go to TikTok mm. and I see the picture of the guy from inside the jav. Mm. Like, and I was like, okay, I didn't need to see all this today. Mm. But yeah, that, that was tragic. Wow, like it's nene alafu cuz me ni skip alafu nikakumbuka mother na siku za mother alikuwa anatuambia hizi story there were not as many cars as, as there are right, right now. now so you can imagine and that stayed with me so much that mimi naturally ni kingaga kwa gari even with my kid the first thing mwambie gani when you enter the car first thing you go seat belt yeah. after seat belt make sure the window is up a certain level where and no she's harm. never even tried to stick her head out she's never tried to but for that to happen that was yeah, some that scary was, that was that was very tragic mm. and consi- <sighs> i don't know from what they said it's like this lorry had tried to had hit the matatu oh, and was mm. trying to speed off so when this you know when it hit from the back the mm. guy was sat in the back seat mm. oh, so yeah, he like he kwa, yeah so he sticking your head out na i know mm. Mm. I know it's it's sad. Mm. So when you to our final destination, do you believe that if it's your day, it's your day? I I'm a very firm believer. Mm. Yeah, it, if prob- I feel like probably even if we knew how we were gonna die, if it said somewhere, oh, uta kufa na you know an accident or whatever yeah, you're gonna yeah, get yeah. evil. Mm. Ata wa mutoki kwa nyumba in that same house uta nyongwa na mati wanguke. Yeah. Like if it's your day, it's your day. Mm. Firm believer. Oh okay okay, but then does it mean that? Ah, mm, it's destined. Mm. It's destined, and there's some people probably who just get lucky. Like yeah. the um, I've, you you hear stories of guys saying, "Oh, um, I was supposed to board this flight, yeah, yeah, and I yeah. for I I was late, and mm. boom." Yeah, we scared the fam- family guy dude. Eh? What family guy dude? Ah, uh, what's what's his name? The the family guy creator. You do watch Family Guy? No, okay. but I enjoyed the snippets though. Yeah, yeah. Cause I yeah. think Stu is really funny. Why if Anakwaga like a big fan? He created a Family Guy. It was He was supposed to be Seth MacFarlane. Mm-hmm. He was supposed to be on that flight. Yeah, nine eleven. No. Then I think the previous night, well, come and do Kitus do what? I think a family thing. Then he overslept. Mm-hmm. Then he missed the flight. Like one of those two flights. Wow. Then I was going to do building even. 
Yeah. Afu yeah. ushawe chini the ad ya Kihindi there's an ad Indian ad about um <laughs> the way the cement is so strong yeah. even planes can't crash that was funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that was, was funny. funny. And and then it bounced. That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, they have those extreme ads. Eh? They have really extreme ads. Asia. Um, mm. True. There's another one I saw. They mm. were advertising um, washing powder. Mm. I, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this was like before yeah. uh, you get. Yeah. So um, this guy, um, this ba- apparently this babe. Oh, yeah, I think I think I everybody the, has seen it. it. The yeah. black dude. Yes. In China. Then he gets okay. he, he okay. gets stuck in the washing machine. Then yeah. he comes out white, and then suddenly mm. this baby is in love. Yeah. 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 I remember that bullshit. Like, extreme. Extreme. And that and black dude was there, like I'm making. It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making this money. <laughs> yeah, let's you like you jingo na ngiaje kwa washing machine. Yeah, like Honestly, me. like mm. yeah, but yeah. There's another one that I saw my juicy. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it's about. Um but this guy is breaking into a safe. What was the ad about? Have you seen it? No. It's nasty. So this guy is breaking into a safe and they're looking for money so they're thugs. Eh? Okay. So they break into a safe alafu unaona like kuna s- people watching them through CCTV mm-hmm. ama through cameras kwa the security room so they break into the safe and they're like shit hakuna we don't have nene here we don't have uh, there's no money mm-hmm. but there's this juice then they start taking this to small small whatever mm-hmm. kidogo za juice kidogo and then they wanakunywa alafu ina zoom out jini nene spam bank what mm. That's Asia, insane. Asian <laughs> ad. <laughs> That's crazy. insanely nasty. It's a crazy. Oh no. Yeah. Asian I got like with some of the wildest ads. That's nasty. Yeah, um 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 I love for Pia he story last man cuz me I can be classified as like a toxic masculine. Oh my. Masculinist. Oh so, my. There's this uh, photo that's been going around. Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh Ajia uh, Susan Nakumincha. Nakumincha. Yeah. So Uh, first of all what do you think about her i end the home i end the home mm. Mm. why i end the home yeah incompetent mm. to the pro max yes and ana qualification mm. like mm. W- why why are cs's filling positions of whatever dockets they don't know how to operate yeah yeah please D- diplomas dream in marketing mm. what do you know about health i love from you akaenda tu masters uliona ile CV alitoa online akona akona masters ya nini ah, alikuwa i think procurement i don't know some bullshit it, that has nothing to please. do with medicine a procurement mm-hmm. what do you know about health that that's just all i have to say because i think she did her d- diploma in is it nursing or something yeah, like yeah, that yeah. but bro that's mm-hmm. different we're talking about a whole docket this is health yeah, yeah. what do you know about it mm-hmm. she needs mm-hmm. to go home tomorrow in fact sai Yeah, anafaa kunene. Alafu uh, reason unafikiria Ruto fanya gaivo because I think we were talking with like in, uh, Ian. Mm-hmm. I think it's Ian who was saying that Ruto does that because if he knows you're incompetent, he knows he can now do the work for you. So there is that. In, so at the end of the day, everything Ruto is doing everything. He's the president and he's also the cabinet secretary mm-hmm. of a lot of these things. There's so the that. Only, yeah. But I'll also say You know the fact that most of these guys come kind of campaigned for him so you have to give back gifts na like you, you have to you have to return the favors you know man during campaign period i don't know see there are people i understand i understand moses kuria i understand uh, murkomen no but even if you're going to award even if you're going to award people who pledged mm. i mean give dockets that make sense yeah yeah to be very honest even murkomen sitting there on transportation why Mm-hmm. Why Moses Kuria mm. trade this man is known to be like the biggest embezzler yeah. why would you put him on such a docket mm-hmm. yeah, kuna ile study alikuwa anafaa kutoa ile bado tunangoja uh, you get what i mean yeah, yeah. like everybody that you put and it's in dockets that are so crucial in the country mm. absolute incompetence like imagine we can't work like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah, but kume kuna the, the story that he he's trying to control everything I'm not surprised because uh, uh, it's interesting now I always look at this woman and I'm like she's not qualified and I was told there's a worse one kuna ule wa tourism and hospitality who's that uh, I don't know what her name is let, let me look for her name so he kilikuwa naambiwa mm-hmm. this thing that happens here yeah, hotels 
where it's the hotel something yeah in uh, like investment mm-hmm. so what we mekuja inakuwa african investment conference yeah but uh, it's on african hospitality investment forum ahif okay. so it happens every year in different countries mm-hmm. so apparently she showed up was it last year so you know people have come they want to invest in hotels yeah she comes she's addressing people from all over the world and she starts please visit kenya kenya has wildlife kenya is beautiful kenya it has rift valley okay. this is a cabinet secretary shows up and talks like a primary school kid even a toddler is probably better than you because what are you saying you yeah, can't yeah. even write that in a composition yes so at that was alikuwa uh, naongea your story Uh, what I want to tourism cabinet that is secretary. Imba- like uh, well, last year uh, see jesus size ni nani the one that uh, was replaced by um tour cuz yeah alafu yeah, the the women going to times square alafu kufanya hizo nini zao hmm mimi yeah mali nimefika na hii nchi kila mtu ajifurahishe roho yeah yeah because trust me this people will give you a reason to be mad every day mule na new york kufanya nini kupiga kupiga photos na kupiga whatever alafu we make sure there is a gospel song i always say let's talk the sure more yeah like song. and me this like masking your your incompetence mm. with religion i don't like that yeah yeah if you're not working you're not working let's watch it we, let's stop involving god in your madness mm. but i know god's working in a serious way so <laughs> i see what you did there mm. <laughs> so Omar than it openina malonza okay yeah so she's the one i was being told like it was so embarrassing that it reached a level that the kenyans who are there could not believe what they were here yeah, even i can't Mpo believe it. it like what do you mean yeah um, uh, so she's the one who's been replaced by nani so could I but now back to our toxic masculinity story oh so my. there was the photo mm-hmm. and the photo is uh, there is the chief of staff mm-hmm. of ministry of health and it was dr anthony akoto mm-hmm. so there is this photo where uh, he's holding the handbag ya susan nakumicha <laughs> angalia title yake title yake ni the chief of staff ministry of health so should the chief of staff carry your pass no but hey sasa kama ujipia kazi yako ni gani tukusaidiaje wewe beba handbag kuza kikata na unafikiria angekata kubeba what would have happened i don't think anything would have happened but she got fired i think he'd you don't remember how she's not carrying a handbag i think she'd fire you i don't think so you don't remember but probably she'd take it as disrespect but i yeah. don't think she'd fire that, that's a bit too extreme over a handbag come on yeah no Cause I'd be like mm, hell to the no 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 maybe you guys would eat would ruffle feathers for sure mm. yeah i love at e but ka, fe- i know like bra what <laughs> and and i felt like this photo also made her look super masculine like her shoulders are there like i'm the nigger around here <laughs> no, yeah um, honestly the, he looks a bit emasculated even the guy at the yeah. back look at the way he's staring at him like mm. bra are you okay mm. Have you seen the her shoulders like nah, but I, HNIC nah, but think about it charge. if you're being bashed daily there's doctors on the roads everybody's against you you know that there, there has you have to kind of show like you know mm, I'm the shit yeah, it's to some extent so mm. I can understand why the shoulders are a bit mm. yeah but this yeah this is wrong Sindio that is just wrong okay but pia lazima nikuulize you did should you be walking around carrying your bag no But I feel like there are certain things I don't think should be a problem. Like if I need you to hold my bag. Yeah. Hold. Yeah, just hold, not carry. Hold. Okay. You you can hold my bag. Probably I need I need to fix my shoe probably and I, I need to okay. dash. You, okay. you got what I mean? You can hold my bag. Mm. Question, would you buy would you go would you buy pads for your wife? Um, yes, I can. It would be I'd be embarrassed as fuck. Why like, why is it embarrassing? I, I don't know. Is that, this one of those the, things what? where Cuz Kenya, Kenya just keep going like that. Buda na jua kama ho mo ga na va kwa rasa. Oh. Just keep like una vile. Not come on. Kuna kwa kana hiyo. Diapers and pads are two different things. And you're not going to buy adult diapers. You're going to buy pads. Menstruation is something that is so normal. Why don't the street ni breaks wa gazina review as one and time i show one day i yes, don't know how true that I, is. I, I don't so, know about that yeah, but so. i'm asking you about pads for your wife i'd, I'd, I'd buy i'd buy 
Uh, but you I'd said feel, you'd be embarrassed. Why? I'd feel some type of way. Why? I'd, I'd like neza taka kui buy ile line iko na mama ba. I like I, I don't understand. Yeah, but you comfortably buy condoms. Uh also condoms uh, condoms we feel some type of way. Why? It's just one of those things where like I'm old school. No gale tain ki kuambia mimi nimetoka kwa time akukua na internet. Akukua na hiyo empowerment yenyu. So I'm coming from from your level here. Ngono ni private. Like mimi na kumkanisha hii fight na mtu huyu like back in the days when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Kuna mtu yali samaga. Unajua buda yako na madhako alifanya tabia mbaya ndio kakuja. Tulipigana. I mean that's facts. He didn't lie. Tulipigana. Mimi buda yangu afanya nini? You see, so that's where I'm coming from. So I, un- I totally understand. Mm. But then again, mwaf. Mm. Sex menstruation those yeah, are normal. things that are very normal they're mm. very ordinary yeah we shouldn't have to have this t- like to this day you still hear guys like oh make out be around a babe who's on her period it's like bro yeah kuna watu sema hiyo that's yes, nature yes, yeah. what do yes, you yes, mean yes, yes, it's yes, the same yes, way yes. you piss it's the same way you poo period mm, is mm. the same thing yeah. it's nature mm. yes it's jane in but na sema tu i'll feel some type of way i, I do it still cuz I have that like ile na kunga majuzi wife alintoleza za obvious that what happens if I'm not around and our daughter starts Thank you very much so what menses. what are you going to do And I was like I'm going to handle that shit I'm going As to you handle should. it you know so so it's not an I was just saying like still funny enough right now in 2024 I'll feel more funny buying condoms than buying pads yes why I just feel like sex is just Bra, my own you should be proud shit. like you're practicing safe sex if anything you should flag mm. that box of condoms everywhere ah, safe sex e time yenu sile mkona hizo matest zenyu za za keja but you do know they don't they're not always accurate right nothing is always accurate it, i think if you live your life na hiyo vitu si accurate unaweza kuwa na stress mingi sana eh like so with the pregnancy test mna ileta oh Oh it's saying you're not pregnant. But you know these things are never accurate. No, it's, 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 it's very like, where true. do you stop? Where it's do you very stop? true. Ah, I don't know man. At some point let's more trust Vitu. And uh, not just the condom. <laughs> <laughs> you can trust beyond. Nah. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Mm, okay, cuz um, I think for dudes like when we are honest to each other and even girls, if mm-hmm. girls are honest Raw versus condom can never be compared. That's very true. Yeah. That's so very very no true. Kufa kufa. Eh? Sindi hivyo. Na fam. Yeah, like at some point na kuanga kama tunakufa tukufa ule chuo sikia ndage yanguka. Saudi Arabia. You you can't play those games especially in this generation. Yeah, yeah. Don't I feel like generation yenu ni ni was like uh, I don't know if it's what the millennial era or Gen Z I think the Gen Z Yeah Gen Z is was I'm yeah. a millennial You're a millennial mm-hmm. okay okay I feel like Gen Z ni was like I I saw this woman um, on a podcast and mm-hmm. said something very interesting mm-hmm. She said that girls in their 20s like a girl by 23 mm-hmm. has a bigger body count than a woman in her 60s Not right really. now no. You think that like the e generation imekujaika I'd, oh, i'd say it's debatable mm. one because you know i don't know who, i don't know who i was talking to but they told me something about it's the only problem with this mm. generation and the past generations is that this one everything is very televised mm. Mm. when the generation where you know everything is tiktok phone video insta story something mm. Mm. for the for the videos telegram it's mm. too mm. televised Yeah. But the same things were happening in the 70s. The, it's the same things. No, no, yes. No, no, no. As it's someone who existed in the 80s, let me tell you. That's why you. I said 70s. That's no, why I said yeah. 70s. People no, are living like in rock the stars. 80s. People are living like rock stars. That's in America. Like to, 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 to Africa, movement was very hard. You know that, right? Like during Moi days, movement was hard. Like taxis were super expensive. Mm-hmm. Do you know a taxi from town to Isili? in 1992 was more expensive than right now from town to Isili. That's crazy. You know, cuz number one cars were rare. Your scarcity. Were rare, yeah. I, that's something so, it, it it would make sense. So, ukiwa kwa kijiji yako, ulikuwa kwa kijiji yako, you don't move as much. Ndio katia them, you had to katia her. There was nothing like at inaweza tumia. Or text or whatever. Yes. There was no Tinder, there was no nothing, there was no nothing. You understand? Mm-hmm. So right now people are having more sex. I remember like this is something like I've, I've 
said a lot of times like since Twanze pod na na na, na Zak, I used to say I can never ask my dad for sex advice. Why? Because I felt like I've had more sex than my father. There's no <laughs> way that dude had more sex than me. Like yes, ah, Zak, eh? you, you'd Last be, you would meet. be mimi, very surprised. Mimi nuko na katia. Take it. Uko uko kwa inbox. Majuzi uh Ian said that and mm-hmm. I found it super funny. Like once like there's a day he came to my office uh mm-hmm. nikiwa ghetto radio. Mm-hmm. Anasema niko nimefungua zinaitwa nini? Tabs. Tabs. Mm-hmm. Ati niko na do hivi alafu mata yu na boyeka na, na copy paste na paste ya wiki le niambia wiki. No way. And that's the power of the internet. Like the internet opened up the world so much. It's a very like, different yeah. Yes. And mimi nilikuwa before Tinder. Saa hizi time ya Tinder. It's crazy. But just because they're there that doesn't mean that <laughs> okay, yeah. that. okay okay mm, okay mm, mm. okay so okay yeah uh, alafu nini lazima nikuuze hilo suit ya Shakila Shakila is threatening to sue Vincent Mboya Why? you have a story um what did he do he posted that he's ready to settle with okay. her mm-hmm. And uh, he's heard that her body count is 428 and he's ready to be the 429th guy. And she was like, fuck it, I'm I am calling my I'm, lo- I'm definitely suing you. Are you mad? So, girls, you know girls, you can't have it both ways. Why? One minute, I'm going sexually liberal. The next minute, like Mimi. Sex- sexual is liberty and my body count, those are two different things. Skiza. Mi saa hizi ruma ikikua mm-hmm. that mu Africa board county yako ni 420 na yeye anaitisha press conference niko like hi man <laughs> yeah. now if you want lessons you can subscribe for five dollars oh, only i'm going to give oh all fans. the secrets you're insane to, to take your number too cuz as we take pride to double your number yes we take pride in bigger body counts like Damn, Buddha, no, no, I, 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 I honestly don't think that's the narrative nowadays. Mm. The money, it mm. would be like, oh my gosh, Yanni, you, you've laid all these mummies. Nice. Now it's mm. just that, honestly, for me, it's a turn off. Mm. If you I just have it for a, you, but if for, you, for us as dudes. I'll tell you for most babes. We might mm. necessarily not tell you, yeah, but it's yeah. a turn off. Like you tell me you've laid more than probably 10. I'm just like, sir. Sir, like, okay. In the age of internet. Did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like th- there's a number of questions you can give me and I'm th- I'll be like okay if I tie it with your age mm. it kind of makes sense mm. but you're telling me you're only 31 you've smashed almost 75 babes bro I'm mm. turned off completely so ndio nakuuliza girls monitakaje because remember when Nani did the infamous interview and that's what I'm saying sexual liberty mm. and body count are two different things mm. just because I feel like I want to post my boobs on the internet. Yeah, yeah. I want to throw my ass in a circle kidogo kwa mtandao. Mm. That's that. Oh, just, be, just because na ku... I do that, mm. that doesn't mean Thringy. I'm high. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, please, they don't tally. That's mm. not how it goes. Oh, okay. Because uh, any reason kuna kuuliza ni the infamous interview and any this girl, what's her, uh, the one who said her number in Nikario Bank, 28. This girl, damn. Keep for Come in. Come in Egoro. You don't remember the infamous interview where I she said she was asked was she I think I, I remember that I remember that video mm-hmm. she was asked akasama 28 and dudes were like <gasps> I mean it it will always be like that mm. to be hey, honest because babes men still have this perception of oh babes are supposed to be reserved mm-hmm. oh you're only supposed to have sex with your husband da, 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 da. Mm. but question is you want a babe who's not having sex and you're having sex with everybody else so please mm. make mm. it make sense has in it like control control what the number you're the Musi ones who are sleeping you're the ones who are sleeping with this girl so control what uh, 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 skiza skiza uh, i want a vagina remember electric code na bomba hakuna mtu anataka vagina no you hear men mm. okay i want a girl who's sexually reserved but you're Not the one sexually. who has a body count of 80 so please who are you sleeping with thank Sikila you mtu moja moja nah, la sana ngoja husband worse. yake even worse Okay. Wait, are we talking about the men or the babes? The the uh, when una unaongea mbaya juu ya No, men men my issues you guys have double standards. When men are hoes, yeah, it's a, no 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 no. When yes, men are hoes, it's encouraged. When babes want to be sexually liberated, eh. Cuz yako ni za uzwa. Goal post may shift. Even men are slinging dick. What do you mean? Do you know what it takes? Tembea kileleshwa tembea kilimani. There's so so, so Do you know what it takes to sell? What? Eh, kukuza dick. Lazima ikuwe big. Not really. 
alafu ikuwe ukuwe na uh, like a flat stomach Not you can't just be like some kadudu na kitambi kuna kitambi <laughs> kuna kitambi you better be parking hii mm. ukuwe na mguu 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 wa nini mguu wa mtoto <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, selling it so hard as a dude cuz girls can get it for free not a lot you, of who, places who told you that you, you need bamba gasana like whenever them argue at yes where you pata you can get there's always that no. dude trying to hit no my friend zone that dude is just there, just waiting for that day i love you going by why are you waiting you going by that dude will just be there like why are you waiting If I already told you what's happening why are you waiting? It's cuz dude suji danganya kuna siku moja dio kuna vile. That sounds like a you problem. Kuna siku. Na hizo ni ndaje kununua na huyu yuko. That's what I'm saying that sounds like a you problem. So ndo senda kununua this free. Ah kuna variety. The same way men have variety, even babes have variety. The issue is the goal post shifts whenever it comes to babes. Cuz one can be sold or another can. Ah pana. I'm going to imagine kuna wanaume wanauza na kuambia si mchezo na nakwambia hiyo ni rare sana ha. like ungekuwa unajua ni mara ngapi niko nimesoda tu kwa hao ningejua kuna tu if i knew i could make money and have fun oh, jesus christ <laughs> no in the rap kuna kwa na making money having fun ah yeah 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 ungekuwa unauza no, no, let, let me ask you in in your in a fantasy world yeah. where you have all these qualities that you've stated mm. ungeuza uh, i'm selling day are I, you serious to girls <laughs> Girls. Then <laughs> 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 zako only fans. No way. Yes, and have an only fans that's, account. That's crazy. Yeah. That's actually crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 and zako muzaji mbora. I'd be there like Yeah that's his story. Oh, you so <laughs> unserious. I can't. Ja <laughs> girls, new chairs like if you could sell. No. Cuz I think Let me tell you, it's cuz of the society. Only, the only reason why most girls are wauzi mm. morality. Let yeah, me yeah, tell yeah. you once you pluck bro. Yeah na juaga. Na ro bizimo sana not tungekuwa tunauza. It's yeah, just like just sometimes you sit and you weigh mm. your things out and you're like you know what I have more to lose so mm, mm. let Which me let, let me hold back. Thank you Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, that is isn't cool. Cuz I even feel like um there's this kind theory that I have in my head and I'm sure you're going to dismiss my theory. Hmm, But cool. I feel like girls was easy to settle kwenye itakuwa harder cuz uh, like by by size at asmanisha na msha Gen Z. Mm-hmm. Gen Z it's going to be harder by cuz by the time they are like 30, they're more of dig they've seen like uh, who, I mean no cum say skiza atakuwa mean okay this dude mm. who has the average which is 5.5 mm. na ametoka kwa nine nyingine ile ali have seven years ago she's akuna. going to be remembering that nine hakuna yes hakuna the problem is i don't know why men like you, you guys it to understand right now women are in a stage where mm. they are literally trying to move like men sounds yeah. crazy but that's mm. just how it is yeah yeah The same thing the same women can smash like nine babes and not it's the same way also babes are moving right now but it's so that it's just because system. just so how come it the narrative is if men if a man can sleep with 75 babes and can settle was it harder a babe who's in 10 will find it harder to settle really no no i'm saying like really? ulamezoea like in it what what is it called like nine inch like she has a nine inch in her history who's taking who is taking nine inch in their right mind who And there's some guy unless you, unless you're an info settles. unless you're like, an info oh, who's taking nine i'm ready to settle cuz you can even look at guns there's a nine millimeter hakuna ga nini hakuna ga 5 mm 5.5 hakuna 5.5 mm that's a weapon no, because a, f- a five is a, is, a, is mm. honestly it's not giving but a nine looks like a threat like if i point that thing in your face of course to go pa yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's yeah, yeah 5.5 is the average okay. no yes But who's so? taking nine? That's just the question. I re- I literally want to meet a babe who's taking nine. Yeah, I'll go out here. I that's why I said I want to meet one. And then they want to settle with a dude with even six. Like, And it it's possible. Nah. Kai lengina kwa mzee kuisikia kwa throat. Ingina na iskia. Wow, you're dragging it. <laughs> you're dragging it. <laughs> okay, so let's let's move on kutoka hapo. Mm-hmm. Um so uh okay, but since tuko hapa hata nakuuliza. Mhm. Ancestry.com ikikam Kenya, do you think Uh, it's advisable like would you as a woman want it around ancestry.com you know where like you can put your dna, DNA and, and such. then know what to correlate it now i think i would hmm. i would i would go be like it's going to break families honestly no because first of all i'm from a family that our roots are 
practically everywhere. Yeah. So I think it would be very interesting for me to just uncover more because at mm. least now I know Uganda, I know Tanzania. Yeah. So yeah, it would be interesting to discover if there's more. Oh. Yeah, uh, I, th- I think it would do more good than harm. Okay. Yeah. Uganda and Tanzania, what any digress kidogo? How? My great grandmother. Mm. My on my ma- maternal side. Okay. So my okay. great grandfather is Ugandan. Oh, okay. And my great grandmother is Kikuyu. Mm, okay. Yes. Mm. So on my ma- on my father's side, mm. his mother mm. is from Tanzania. Yeah. Yeah. And his father? Luo. Okay. Yeah. And ma- your mother's My side? mother's dad is Luo, mm. then my grandmother ni Mgandam Kikuyu. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Damn, that's amazing. Yeah, I just I told you it, it, w- it would be so nice to discover more. Mm. Roots. See, maybe the from me. Like I don't know if you've watched this show. Like mm. wife I'll question like in Watch it, watch it. You are a podcaster, you need to watch this show. <laughs> Only murders in the building. No. It's a very interesting show. It shows you how like but if you see when Americans are talking about podcasts, you are like, What the fuck are we doing here? They talk about deals like thirty million dollars deal. Uh, it's like crazy. Mm-hmm. But now it shows you like what people do just to be able to make like a good podcast. But Saki will quite interesting one of those, like one of the characters decides like the kid uh says like, you know what, I'm going to take my DNA and just put it on uh, ancestry.com and mm-hmm. then I See find out yeah uh, man ends up finding out the dad is not the dad that's insane yeah yeah so it made me think like this would break families you know cuz dudes um i mean sometimes secrets need to be uncovered yeah so yeah mm. i love for people in you know like um hell hell hath no fury like a woman scorned mm. like you had this story uh the caparos where when they were looking for a divorce, I think. I think the Caparo. You remember Caparo, the speaker? Ole Caparo. Francis? Yes, yes, Ole yes, Caparo? Yes, yes. yes, there was a story where his wife, uh, one of his wife started saying, this, some of these kids are not yours. We need to do DNA test to confirm which kids are yours. And I was like, fuck that. I'm Crazy. not doing that. Have you read this he book refused. called yeah. um, The Secret Lives of Babasegi's Wives? Uh-uh. <sighs> you need to read that book. Yeah, yeah. Literally, like... This Ole Kaparo story mm. is a page from that book. Same thing. This mm. man had like three wives. Yeah. All the kids were not his. So he married a fourth wife and the fourth wife couldn't get pregnant. Mm. So he made her do all these crazy things, seeing, you know, taking her to doctors, native doctors. Mm. So finally they were like, um, you, you have to you have to bring your husband for testing. Mm. So they test and he's yeah. told he's important. So that's mm. when now he starts uncovering oh. the all and he has like nine kids. Mm. None. Ah, uh, he's yeah. Damn, it's a crazy book. You need to read it. Mm. Yeah, for women. Not for God to a job. Yeah, let's see. Book we mjanja. E ujanja inanza ukifiat. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Iko kuna yone ne. Um, alafu kuna ne. Um, to kitoka kwa yo story kuna yu picha ilikuwa na go round. Sijuko kuli ona. Yeah, Oscar Sudi chilling with Diamond. Mm-hmm. And uh, the story is Oscar Sudi has gone to meet Diamond because. He wants to see opportunities for youth in Kenya. And um, I don't know. What feel like? See opportunities for Kenya. For youth in Kenya, like how they can use their talent. Uh, no, I don't know if he wants to use wanataka kuambia diamond akuja to fundisha nini. Please but, let us just focus on the problems in this country. Wacheni kuingiza diamond kwa nguria juu. Please. Because trust me, I feel like this is going to be all they'll start Sijui and initiatives. Yeah, your money needs yeah. to be pumped in Kidogo Kidogo. Mm. It your initiative billionaires candle in Monisha Sijui and TV. We have so many problems in this country. Mm. Diamond should not be one of them. Please. Yeah. yeah. Achana yeah. nayo. Yeah. Saizi, we have Kina MCSK. Kina Nunini is constantly fighting these guys for their money can we focus on that first mm. before we start giving them opportunities mm. Mm. or giving them illusion of opportunities that, that are never probably going to happen yeah yeah please let's not yeah um but then pia lazima nikuulize now tukitoka kwa diamond because history at he youth and talent i find it to be very stupid i always feel like if you are talented enough, you'll find a way. True. History has you let's start a studio in, in the Asia. village. Uh, um, hmm, should I should I say this? Should you I say not? Because I, I don't think this is my place to say this. Mm. I, I we should no, we should actually wait for the announcement. But I'll just give I'll I'll throw a small hint. Yeah. So there's something that's in the works. Apparently, there's a studio that's about to be built, state of the art studio mm. that's supposed to help 
entertainers to make the music or guys who don't have access to like proper studios yeah, and yeah, whatever yeah. it's in the works mm. so i think the problem is not setting up the studios or mm. creating these spaces mm. for creatives to do their work i think sometimes as a creative you just need to find your own ways yeah squeezy these apps yeah that you can paste three so to so and it makes your audio so crisp mm. see cuz that videos constantly doing videos elisha post your stuff on spotify TikTok. apple mm. if you can dance. exactly mm. do your shit on tiktok yeah. make a movement keep it pushing mm. that's yeah so kuna student nani niwa there's a student that's in the works yeah, you see and this these are the things i have a problem with cuz he student end up control you for it to be functional because it's going to be open to the public how many artists are there like I'll, 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 I'll have to give you mm. the juice of the camera yeah. but from what they were saying mm. honestly it sounds like something that's actually it, it makes sense yeah. for the fa- like for the first time a music makes studio sense. makes sense I, i know a film studio makes sense a music studio nah imagine that's, actually that's my like i said to to ongea new my attend but yeah. it actually does make sense i promise you okay okay and then any um the musicians who are going to skiza up kenya what do you think people should know and people don't know 